Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again on this KEG Chipanda. Uh -huh. There's this complaint from many of guys. Uh, many of guys are complaining of agencies who are used to travel, guys. I used to help guys to travel to Gulf countries. When Gisana, they used to steal money from these guys. And uh, the, the, we are looking for any other option that we can avoid this. So he decided again to ask Mr. Bright according to that one. Mr. Bright, I'll ask you a quickly question. What do you think we can avoid this issue of agencies? steal money from people who want to travel to Gulf country because most of people who are traveling to Gulf country have to buy this work that's how we do what we say so how do you think we can solve this thing so that we can reduce or abolish at all this agency who are using people's money inaccurate let me say like that desperation can cause you right to make the wrong decisions, decisions. and choices however looking for information nowadays when i was growing up it was very difficult to get information right however now there are so much information around but some of us when we are desperate to get out of the situation we don't take our time to do any research somebody tells you i met a gentleman recently from sierra leone no. he was say, staying in um, he was living in in china and was schooling and was also a footballer there and then somebody told him, in Qatar, you can earn more than you are earning in China. So he, he decided, decided to, travel to, to travel. And you know what he did? He bought the higher, you know, the World Cup, the higher card that they did this sure, thing there. Sure, you sure. Know, there's During a, the World Cup, which exactly, was Exactly. This yeah. one that was open to it. It's yeah. a short stay. Yeah. But he bought that at a huge price and he came. When he got here, he realized that you couldn't use that higher card to work. He realized you could even use the higher card for anything, not even for absolutely nothing. Things are different on the ground. And so he, he now asked himself, what have I done? It was just a quick check. Mm. If he had checked, he would know that the higher card was a temporal thing that was instituted for only the World Cup. Uh, because of visitors who are coming. Exactly. Yeah. Number two, our own people are using this for their own benefits. Right. We have become like crops. Africans, because they know you will not read, you will not do any research. So they come and say, oh, I have, I have, there is job, a place for you to sleep, food. You don't need anything. You go today, you start working. That's what they're doing. Exactly. Yeah. Now, when they tell you that, you don't ask them any questions. Or if you ask them, you tell them, uh, the question you ask is how much? Because you need that to work. You're desperate. You, don't, you don't need that The work. first question you're supposed to be asking, what is the name of the company I'm going to be working in? Right. What type of visa are you giving me? How long is the visa? What are my responsibilities to that visa? What are the conditions? If I go and I get another job, can I switch? If I cannot, can I speak to someone you have taken there who is there now Before, that I can right. speak to? Right. I remember when I got the opportunity to come here, I had to find out and I realized there was a, four, a, 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 a colleague of mine who I work with in the same company who has been here for about two years before I came. So I called him. I bought unit. I wasted it on him. It got finished. I went back again. I bought it because I wanted to make sure. It's true. Because I'm, I'm, I'm the only person leaving my whole family and traveling and coming. My mother is not here. My father is not here. Sure. And if anything happens to me here, I got no one. None to help. Raya. So if I value my life, I may be in desperate situation, but I'm leaving my whole family behind. My kids, my wife, my family, and I'm traveling out. I Please do some due diligence by yourself. Yeah, sure. So these agents, for me, let me go back to Kenya, guys. Eh? Because you see, these agents, some of them, like you heard a story that these agencies, some of them, they'll tell you that there's a certain work. Like someone can tell you that there's a work which you are going there to be a salesperson. Example. But when you come here, you work as a driver. So you see, there's no help that this this person is going to get. Maybe he paid a lot of money because of that work, because he was promised a big salary, let me say like that. So my question is like, uh, how are we going to avoid this? I mean, is, it, is, it, is, is, is there any way that someone can look for himself a work online, maybe something like this? Yeah, online not through, you can get. Not through uh, those agencies. agencies yeah, no. Online you can be able to do, see, the problem we have in Africa most part of Africa is that we refuse to read or research very simple research we refuse to do that so if you take 
let's say you're looking for a job. Yeah. There are a lot of sites that are advertising jobs. Sure. So you can do, you can apply online also. So but even if you're using the agency, there is no need, no, there is nothing bad about using agency. But how are you sure that that agency is true? Exactly. That's why you have to do a little bit of research on, research the on them. See, if an agency is taking you on this kind of trip, you cannot find a website. You cannot get a direct email. You cannot get, okay, you're only dealing with only one person. But that one person cannot make up a company. Exactly. You don't have any any background to the company. And the company you're even going to be working, they say, when you get there, when I get there, what? What contract are they giving you? I've not read anything. They give you some paper, they say, sign these papers. Mm -hmm. And you just hurriedly sign them without reading anything, no conditions, nothing. Okay, right. Uh, if someone have signed a contract, but he has reached here, and they find that things are different, totally different, what are you advising that person? Uh, first thing, when you arrive and you just see that absolutely, like today you arrive yeah. and you see, you have a return ticket. That's the that's the thing that people don't know. You have a return ticket. Wow. If you you desperately don't want to be in the situation, use that return ticket. You can use it. You have to go ready. back. Go, see, but, but, because at the moment, the, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying something. Yeah. You can use that return ticket. That's one way. Sure. Number two, mm -hmm. you can decide that. This is the contract I, I had. I came with you, right? This thing that you're giving me here is different. Someone should explain something to me. Exactly. Or else, I am not moving an inch True. to anywhere. Fact, yeah. And you can be able to hold them hostage. Let me tell you why. I mean, how? Your pa you always make sure before you do this, your passport is with you. Right. Your return ticket is it's with, with you. you. Because those two things, they cannot... If they take it away from you, that's why you cannot do anything, uh, right? Hold but even if account. they do, look... And you you can be able to for sure you have your phone. Sure. Google the next available police station. Go. And get a help from there. The police here are very helpful. True, that's fact. So if you can be able to anywhere in the Gulf, anywhere in the Gulf, police is your friend. I say this and I'm saying it again. The police is your friend. The only time is they are not your friend is if you're doing the wrong, the wrong thing. thing. Mm. If you know you're doing the wrong thing, you're going against the rules. That you will not be they will not be your friend. But if you are then they will be your friend. Exactly. But please read the contract and read the nuances. If you don't understand, show it to somebody else. So that I can explain. To exactly. You, sure. you can also go online. See, nowadays, TikTok, uh, what is the name of those ones? Twitter. And all sure. those. There are people who are living in those countries that are posting every day. Mm -hmm. True. Contact them. I have a job from this company. Is there anything you can tell me about them? Please. I am coming there and I just want to know. Once that person can tell you something you have two or three people confirming something to you mm. even the agency sometimes they give you a paper it's in arabic you don't understand sure. google translate <laughs> to, to get the reality they Please should not google play translate they should not play Some with your you mind are holding your id cards your qatar id card or saudi id whatever it is that you may be holding and you don't even know where your position is check the back of your card there is a position written there if you don't know it google, google. translates <laughs> use google translate guys please make sure that you subscribe and like the channel <laughs>